My flashback's involuntary. It takes over like that. You're in it. You're not looking back on an experience. It's not like a memory. It's you're in it. You're reliving it. You are experiencing all those emotions again, all that fear again. You are completely there. I was contracting very quickly and very fiercely. There were lots of panicking people around me. Marley's heart rate then plummeted and I was rushed in for an emergency C-section. But by the time they'd got me in, his head was ready to come out. And because of that, he was a forceps delivery. I was cut without any um, real pain relief, which was horrible. And then Marley was born. Unfortunately, Marley's heart had stopped at that point. So I went from a screaming room of people to deadly silence. It was just so scary because you go from all that noise to complete silence and I was asking what they were doing and no one was talking to me, no one would answer me. So the panic rises in you then as well. Everything you were waiting for, everything you were planning for, this beautiful bundle that's meant to be given to you straight away. And it's, you know, I didn't even see him. Anything could really trigger it, to be honest, certainly in the early days. Anything where I felt unsafe seemed to trigger it, so even um, the thought of driving initially. And anyone asking. You know, people do ask you how it went, and that would always be a trigger, which was difficult. Because in the end, you finally should stop talking about it, actually, and just shut down. Happy birthday to you. Their birthdays are never easy, unfortunately. For me, it's a reminder of what I had to go through to get them here. You drag back there every year. It never really feels completely happy and joyous like it should. I feel selfish for even saying that. Because it's their birthday and it's meant to be about them. It, that's hard. I don't think there's any understanding of postnatal PTSD. Most people assume that that's just what soldiers get and that's it. Antidepressants kept being offered and it's, you don't want to take antidepressants because you know it's not depression, it's not the same. And they need different treatments, there is different approaches to it and there needs to be, not even just an awareness, an understanding, there seems to be such a dismissive approach to it when it comes to the trauma side of it. It's very kind of, well, you've had a baby, what do you expect? I don't feel I was the mum I could have been. I think it did affect that, definitely. And that's, that's very hard to look back on and not feel guilty and feel like I didn't give them my all. I didn't have it there to give, but I wish I had. <laughs>